Hey everybody, this is Austin and welcome back to my channel. We are finally back in the garage and ready to keep working on Project Mare. Now, those of you who followed my channel know that at the end of December, I moved into a new house. And so my garage was basically off limits for nearly a month. And then I was also on paternity leave at the start of January. And I thought going into paternity leave that I was gonna have way more time to work on this guitar. And those of you who have children are probably laughing at me right now because children take so much time. So I haven't really been able to work on this guitar until now. And so it, I think that it's finally ready to get this guitar across the finish line. So today we're gonna go ahead and tidy up the body that we machined in the last video. We're gonna join the neck to the body. We're gonna glue those together. And then we're gonna go ahead and finally sand everything up to 220 so that way we can apply finish and do our fret work. We are almost there, so I'll see you at the bench. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is we need to make this body symmetrical. Now you might think, wow, Austin, well you just spent a year modeling this and programming the cam and machining it on your CNC and it's not symmetrical. Well, we had a few problems. If you watched the machining the body video, uh, my motors lost steps around the outer contour, which created a few problems for me in a few areas that need to be resolved while we're still in a manageable state because we're gonna end up setting the neck and gluing it in. And I wanna be able to have access to all this geometry before we do that. So we need to work on the body first. So let me show you exactly the problem that we're running into. So I don't know how well this is coming off on camera, but there's about a 32nd or almost a 16th of an inch step on this front edge. And it's also a little bit visible on this front edge right here as well, um, particularly right here. And then this front edge seems to be fine. The whole side and back seem to be fine. And then there's another little step right here. I don't know if that's coming out, but we need to go ahead and make all this smooth while we still have it in a manageable state. And then once we get that done and then it's ready to be sanded up to final finish, then we can go ahead and actually set the neck. And so there's also one issue that I ran into before that we need to solve before we actually set the neck. So right now, or before, my neck fit in pretty tight, but nice. And I was really happy with it because you really can't have too tight of a neck. I mean, theoretically it's possible, but right now it's a little bit, of, it's a little loose, but it's a nice glide fit. It, I can still feel the friction, so I'm happy with it still. But the problem is, is that even when this is fully seated and I have no gaps or anything around the whole contour, so this fits really nicely and I'm happy with that. On the back side of this, and I don't know if this is gonna come out very well on camera, I'm trying to hold this down for you. There is a small air gap right there that doesn't seem to wanna to close and I can't seem to get the neck fully seated. Now I've been fiddling with this in my spare time and during my off time in the past few months and I've gotten it closer. Originally it was like a 16th of an inch and that was when my fit was really tight. And so I've gotten it a lot better, but it might be in the distance where I can let the glue fill that up. But I think we need to play around with that a little bit before we actually glue it in. So that's the plan for today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fix all the contour issues, get this body ready to sand, set the neck, and then sand this up to final finish.
Okay, so now we got all the tool marks off the body gone. We've reestablished some of the radiuses that were supposed to be there. And now we're trying to now it's time to set the neck. Now I could do this after finishing the body to 220, but I am going to be doing some work here on the neck to make sure this transition is a little bit smoother with 220. And so I think we're just gonna do the entire the entire guitar at 220 once everything is glued together. Now, one issue I already ran into, which I told you guys about earlier, is how this was fitting up in this corner, right? And I actually kind of solved it, and it really was a no-brainer, but I didn't think about it ahead of time. And this is now closing up almost all the way. And what I realized, and it kind of just dawned on me, was that we have sharp corners and sharp corners. And so what that meant is that that any debris or anything in here didn't have a place to go. And so it was really important that I cleared out this whole area and that I actually just took a little bit of sandpaper and I just rounded over the bottom edge of this, which is also convenient because it gives it a little bit of a lead in and allows a place for the glue to travel when it's, uh, when it's setting. But what that did is it basically stopped any, anything that was preventing that from closing up all the way and now we actually have nice contacts, so I'm really happy with that. So something else we need to think about before we actually clamp this together is that I don't really have a flat surface to clamp to on either the fret side or the back of here. And the surface right here, because it's got the frets on it, is actually very slick. And so if I try to simply clamp these, which I've already tried to do just as a test run, they want to <coughs> drift up on me like that. And so first of all, I want even clamping pressure um, on this, so that way I get a nice, uh, a nice glued joint here. But also I need a way for this to grip and hold onto it. And so what I've actually done is I've created a 3D printed little jig that's got a 12 inch radius and spaces for the fret slots that'll sit up here, but it's got a flat side on this side. So that way I can give myself a flat surface here and also even clamping pressure from this direction. So if I put this on the frets here, you can see how that would sit on there. Now that takes care of one side, but for the other side, what I can just do is put a piece of like gasket material or like neoprene or rubber that will give these clamps some better grip. And so the way I'm anticipating doing this, and I've already done a dry run here just to make sure it works, is something like that. And I'll do clamps all the way around and I can squeeze this together put a clamp here, put a clamp here, and also I'm going to be doing a clamp here between this point and this point because I want this seam right here to also be supporting the neck as well. And so that's the way I'm envisioning this working and I think that's gonna be a much better way to clamp this. So let's go ahead and get this going. All right, so I've got my glue here. Let me just get some on this brush. And we're gonna put this on get this going. So glue's going in. Now I'm trying not to get a lot near the edge so that way I don't get a ton of squeeze out in those corners and have a lot of work later left to do. But I just want the whole surface covered. Let's get that in there. Yep, corners are all covered. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna end up having to sand some of this later, which is okay. But I'll wipe some of it up um, before we go. Just making sure I've got nice even coverage. Looks like we're almost there. Okay, and I shouldn't have to put any on the neck itself. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Let me set that aside. Okay, it should be good. Let's go ahead and put this in, like so, and squeeze that in. Yes, we've got squeeze out already on this whole seam. So I'm really happy with that. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, so let me grab my rubber. And we need a clamp here. There we go. Okay, first clamp's gonna go on. I'm going to try to get this one as low as possible. There we go. OK, 
mate, and sure that up. Okay, that's first clamp. Let's make sure that's rotated in. Okay, I need to move that a little bit. Okay, and then second clamp. Sorry for blocking the camera here. I'm a little under a little bit of a time crunch. Okay, there's second clamp. Now that one is wanting to drift a little bit on me. Loosen that, bring it a little bit further in. That, that should be a little better. Ah, shoot, that's not. Come on, Austin. Think. There you go. I hate blue ups, they are so stressful for some reason for me. So much can go wrong right here. on there that one's on there good let's grab a third one see if we can fit that in there maybe maybe not okay we might have to grab a bigger clamp let's do that good there's room okay cool all right and secure that in now this is one of those cases where you work with what you got <laughs> I don't have a lot of tools to clamp that can work in this area very well. But, okay, sorry for blocking the camera. I'm just double checking everything. This one can be a little tighter, but there we go. Okay, that one's in there. And now I need to clamp the side. So I'm gonna need another big clamp for that. And I'm going to grab a small piece of rubber here. Yeah, if I go too far, it tries to roll off. So there's like a minimum clamping pressure I can put on this before it starts to fail on me. Okay, that's about all I can do, but the glue is seaming out, which is good. Let me just press these ones a little tighter just to make sure that one is not sending my neck in a different direction. Check everything. I need a flashlight. Let's grab my old phone. Yep, the edge looks good. Edge looks good on that side. Edge looks good on that side and I have full contact up there without any excess squeeze out on the top, which is awesome. Okay, I'm really happy with that. I think that's gonna be good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna let that sit for probably a couple hours and I'll see you guys back in a bit. All right, well, I know I said it was only gonna be a couple of hours, but for me, it was actually a couple of weeks. And thankfully for you guys, it was only a couple of seconds because of the power of editing. So we now have a neck that is glued to our body and we were able to solve that gap issue that was here. That is all closed up. This is really nice and strong and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. We have all the tool marks removed from the body and the body is currently sanded up to 120. So all that we really have to do now to get this ready for finish is tidy up some of the ends of the frets because I still have a couple burrs and a couple sharp spots here. Um, I'm gonna be doing my full fret work once oil is on. Um, but I do want to make sure I don't have to do any major grinding that would 
remove any of the oil that I just put on. So we want to tidy those up and then bring this up to 220. So I've got it on my bench here and I added a little piece of MDF on my vise so that way I have um, some space to work with because my toolbox isn't particularly large. Um, well, it's a pretty big toolbox, but it's not particularly large for something this long. So I've got my vise and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sand this up to 220 and then we're gonna apply some oil. finally have a completed piece that is ready for finish and assembly and oh it feels so good to finally hold this in my hands after so long designing doing the cam making all these videos and just being able to actually hold it and feel what it's going to play like is awesome and i could not be happier with the way this has turned out all the way from the neck profile to the contour and how it fits my body the inlays and everything, I am just ecstatic to get this across the finish line. And speaking of which, I'm a little irritated with some of you. Just kidding, by the way. But some of you have actually already finished your Project Mare guitar for the guitar build-off before me, which kills me because I was so planning to have this guitar done months ago, and some of you actually beat me to it. So as much as it hurts me, Holy cow, some of the pictures you guys are sending me of some of the work you're doing is insane. And oh, I cannot wait to share the results of the Project Mare guitar build off with you guys because at least based on what you guys have already sent me, it is gonna be a banger. 
And so I am really excited to see where that's going. So keep sending me the updates. I would love to see them. And next week, so getting back to the guitar, next week we're gonna go ahead and apply finish, do some fret work, and if I have time, go ahead and get it assembled. So I will see you guys next time. This is Austin signing out.